Well, I'd look at Snoqualmie Pass right now, and when it comes to the pass, still picking up a bit of snow, but you saw some serious snow over the weekend, doing a little avalanche mitigation over Stevens today, so a lot going on. Things start calming down, though, as we usher in that colder air mass that clears things out by tomorrow, and that's where we get this. It's wind chill advisories pretty widespread across the inland northwest that really stretches from out in central Washington and the Columbia Basin straight through Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, down through the Palouse and much of the Idaho Panhandle into much of Montana. It is going to be that kind of cold across much of the northwest. Right now it's the trough kind of digging in and coming down, but as we move through the day, the wind shifts to a little more northwesterly by this evening, and that northwesterly, excuse me, northeasterly, that northeasterly flow is what really starts pulling in that Arctic Canadian air. So look at these wind values, 30 to 40 miles per hour by tomorrow, and that is going to keep pulling in that cold air. You combine that with those temperatures down near the single digits, it's going to feel like it's below zero for a lot of us. By Wednesday, things calm down, but that Arctic air mass is already in place. So the next few days, it is all about the cold, and we've got sub-zero wind chills pretty widespread across much of the inland northwest as this cold air moves in.